Hey everyone, so today I thought I'd take you guys with me and a little bit of behind my thought process about editing one of my latest photos. I shot this a few weeks back at Big National Park. Initially I edited the picture as a black and white, but now that I'm thinking about it, I want to see what it looks like in color and maybe compare the two. I'm going to do this edit completely in Lightroom. I'm going to take you guys with me and we're going to do an edit of two images, one in black and white, one in color, put them side by side. Initially when I, when I took this picture, I shot it to be a black and white because it was just screaming black and white. The conditions were fit for a black and white photo, but sometimes it could be nice in color too. So I'm going to revisit that and we'll see what we end up with. So I'm going to get to editing right now. So make sure you guys follow along with me and we'll see how it goes. All right. So I've got the two images right here. This is I shot them in RAW. I got one copy here and a second copy here. These are virtual copies of the RAW file. So copy one is gonna be the color, copy two is gonna be the black and white. So I'm gonna start with the color one and we'll see how I'll tweak that to my interest. Now, first um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring down my highlight just a tad bit and I'm gonna bring up my shadows right here till where I'm satisfied with it and I'm gonna click alt and drag my whites here we go and once I get my white points set I'm happy with that all right same thing with the blacks it's pretty good as is no need to do the blacks already kind of clipping a little bit but that's fine I might just, I like the blue effect because in the in the sky, so I'm gonna keep that the same. I could warm it up a little bit here to kind of get, minimize that, but I like it, the white balance as shot, so I'm gonna keep it because I like the mood of the image. I'm gonna increase the contrast a bit here, not too much. And like I said, I'm just, you know, going with my what I feel like doing, I'm just playing around with the with the sliders here and see what I get. I'm gonna do the saturation a bit. All right, and this is only gonna be an edit in Lightroom. So the sharpening, I'm gonna go maybe like 85, and with the Alt click and slide the masking, I can decide where I kind of want it, whatever's in white is going to be in focus. So it was a long exposure, so I just want to make sure I'm keeping my sharpnesses on the rocks, not the sky, not the water. I want to keep it smooth looking. So that's pretty good. I did notice one thing when I was doing that is I had a little sensor spot here. So I'm going to take the healing br brush tool here. I'm going to visualize spots and I'm just going to Go a little bit bigger than the spot and whoops, might have missed it. Click that, try to find a patch that's close. Okay, let me see that up close. Okay, looks pretty good. All right, so now that I have done that, I'm just gonna Remove chromatic aberration, enable profile cor corrections. I always do that. I always find, you know, on a Saturday when it's raining like today and the weather's in the crap, I always find editing photos always a fun exercise to do. It's quite calming and relaxing. So, you know, that's a good thing to do on, on days like this. All right, might just open up the shadows a little bit. Just kind of tweaking it to where I like it. And I want to boost the color here of the, of this, you know, the seaweed or whatever that is. So I think if they just play with the yellow slider saturation, we'll boost the color a bit. All right, that's pretty good. Let me see before, after. It's a slight, slight difference. I might just increase my whites a little bit more. Here we go. All right, that's pretty nice. Um, 
cover some of the shadows because it was a bit dark here. All right, so this is the before. I can see it was black and white because it was showing me the the edit, the original. It's weird that it's doing that. I guess when you have a the original, I didn't re, I didn't reset it because I just wanted to keep it. But um, you can kind of see how it was before and after here. I guess when you're uh, when you do a a copy, virtual copy of the raw file, and the raw file is still in black and white with my original edit, it show, it resorts to to black and white, which is weird. I don't even know why it's doing that instead of I resetted the virtual copy. But that's fine. I have the raw here. You can see before and after. I'm gonna put these pictures up on the screen side by side and you guys can compare. So I'm just gonna go through it a little bit. I might just do one more thing here. Is I might just go a little bit with the dehaze. See what that does. If I like it any if I like it any at all. Let me see. And just do a bit of dehaze. All right, I quite like that. So this is the image as in color. Now I'm gonna move on to the uh, black and white of the image, which is gonna be this one. So this one, first I'm gonna use the um, the black and white tab here on top. It's gonna automatically switch it to black and white. So I'm gonna increase the contrast a bit before I actually let me just before I do that let me just move, do the, these two steps all right and might increase my contrast a bit I'm gonna bring down my highlights touch so I can get some texture in the clouds just so I can see the definition in the clouds and the movement that looks quite nice I'm gonna open up the shadows too because it was quite darker in the foreground and I'm gonna set my whites I think in black and white setting your whites and your black will make for a good black and white photo because you know it's probably obvious because it's a black and white right I think that helps a lot improve the image all right and let me go down to sharpening here. See, I didn't do that much stuff to the image. I mean, it was pretty much looking good right off the camera. I'm just kind of getting it to where I like it in terms of the look. And see what a bit of dehaze does here too. That's weird why it's showing me. Why are you doing this? Okay, that's weird. I think the old button was stuck. All right, so a little bit of dehaze here. All right, quite like that. I might just increase the contrast a bit. So I want it to be a moody shot, you know, I want it to have all these jagged rocks looks nice and I'm gonna clean up that spot as well with the visualized spots alright let's go over to that spot come on come on that's a bit slow today it's acting up why are you doing this to me Lightroom and one thing I have here you see the black and white tab here got blue aqua green all these colors I'm just gonna since I know there was a lot of blue here I'm just gonna take this blue slider and slide it down and you can see how that makes it a bit more dramatic too in the sky so I'm just gonna I'm not gonna go over crazy over the the top but just gonna bring that back a bit maybe a bit with the aqua too that might be some of the blue color could be Aqua and blue, and you can see before 
after it, just a subtle weight. This is after, this is before, after. I might just increase here. It's weird uh, acting a bit crazy today. Okay, I might just increase that a bit. Okay, let's see before. before after. okay some reason Lightroom's acting very slow today because usually it should be a quick showing me okay here we go this is before this is after I'm gonna increase the contrast a tad bit all right and here we go quite like that so this is the color one this is the black and white one and I'm gonna put the images also side by side, the exported files, and you can see them and compare. And uh, do let me know. So this is it for this video. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed that, a little bit behind my thought process on editing this image, only in Lightroom. I mean, Lightroom can be very effective, but I don't go crazy editing on my photos. I just keep it very simple, and I just try to get it to where I to look to where it's satisfying to me. So do let me know what you think in the, in the video. Do let me, leave me a comment. So after looking at the both images, I still prefer the black and white one because initially I thought it's just perfect for black and white, but some of you might like the color. So do let me know in the comments which one you prefer, the color or the black and white, and tell me why. And if you like this video, hit the subscribe button for more videos. Usually I post videos about like, you know, behind the scenes stuff, but every once in a while I do some kind of different video, depending what I feel like. All right, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, see ya.